Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I want to talk about digital pianos and stereo versus mono recording or performing. Now, most digital pianos, the modern ones, even 10 years ago, they have a pair of left and right outputs. And what those outputs take is a pair of left and right quarter inch plugs. The other end are also left and right quarter inch plugs that go into your mixer or your PA or your stereo keyboard amp or your front of house or your recorder or whatever to record left and right. Now most digital pianos have what's labeled as left slash mono and right for those two channels. Now, when you're recording in the studio, you want to use stereo left and right because that is perfect and you're recording solo or if you're doing solo piano, that's, that's great having left and right because it separates the left and the right channels. And on most pianos, let's talk about a, an acoustic concert grand. If you're recording with a single microphone what that microphone records is what you get, and that's called mono, meaning one, one recording, one microphone. So no matter what you play, you're hearing it in mono. Now, when you're recording an acoustic concert grand piano in stereo, you're using two microphones. Usually the left is placed at the lower or bass register, and the right is placed in the upper or treble register. So as you play down here, you're going to hear it through the left mic, or that's where it's recording from. You're going to hear it in the left speaker when you play it back. And up on top here, you're going to hear that in the right speaker because it's being recorded on the right microphone. And as you go up and down, You're going to hear that going from left to right and back and so on and so forth. Now that's great for studio recordings, for solo recordings and all that stuff. But when you're with a band, that could be a problem. And if you talk to most professional keyboardists or pianists who perform with a band or live, there is a problem there with stereo which may or may not manifest itself. But here's the problem. When you're playing something in stereo, you're going from your left and right outputs to left and right speakers that project into the audience. And they're separated by 30 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet, depends on the venue that you're at. Okay, now here is the problem with stereo live and especially if you're with a band. What's coming out of the left speaker is a bunch of sound waves like this, and what's coming out of the right speaker is a bunch of sound waves like this, and where they meet, they could cancel each other out, and you don't hear anything. So that obviously is a problem. But for a certain part of the audience, there's a sweet spot where you're hearing both and it sounds absolutely fantastic. That's why it's called a, a sweet spot. But if they cancel each other out for certain parts of the audience, that's not good. It's going to sound like not good. All right. So most professional keyboardists in a band will perform mono, meaning monaural one microphone and in most of these digital pianos you have two outputs left and right so you need to convert that to monaural to make it sound good you get the same thing coming out of the left and the right speaker so no matter where you are you're hearing the same thing out of the left or the right or even if you're in the sweet spot you're hearing both but it's the same sound so that's what monaural is all about and in order to get monaural out of a keyboard that has stereo or left and right outputs, 
you'll notice on most keyboards, the left and right is labeled as such L slash mono and R for right. So the reason L is la also labeled slash mono means it's the summary of the left and the right to give you one output source. But you can only get that if you plug in, again, let's go back to these quarter inch jacks. When you have both plugged in, you get stereo, left and right. If you only plug in the left and do not plug in the right, these modern digital pianos can sense that. And when they detect that you only have a left quarter inch plug that's plugged in and not the right, the circuitry will summarize or give you the left and right in one channel, that left. So you can take the other end of that and plug that into a mixer or front of house or recorder or PA or whatever. So you're getting the left and right in one cable mono that summarizes both. And that's what's needed to cut through because if you're doing stereo and you're with a band, you're not going to cut through and the piano is going to sound not so great. But when you have mono, it cuts through all the other stuff, the bass guitar, the rhythm guitar, the lead guitar, the drums, and all the other things that can detract from the piano. The piano is going to cut through and actually shine when you have it in mono. And the same thing I found when I'm doing a live performance at a party or whatever, left and right, okay, that's great for part of the audience. But if I summarize and just do the left, even though I've got a stereo keyboard amp, if I just hook up one cable from the left to the left input or left stereo input of a keyboard amplifier it treats that as mono and sends the same signal to the left and right so let me see if i can demonstrate in an equivalent thing what you're hearing here Now that's stereo, and let me see if I can convert that to mono, okay. That's a mono signal. And let me go back to stereo again. stereo sounds better because this is a studio recording, but if you were in a live audience, the mono would sound better. Okay, and what I just did, I did this through software, but I could do the same thing by unplugging the right output jack here and the right, the corresponding right input jack that goes into my audio interface or my recorder or my keyboard amp or the front of house lead or whatever. So this is what I wanted to get across to everybody today because it makes a huge difference between stereo and mono when to use it. You're doing a solo piano recording in the studio. Stereo is the only way to go. If you're doing a live performance, whether it's a, with a band or even sometimes solo, Mono is the way to go. And some digital pianos have some mono samples that are built in. Others don't. But to ensure that you're getting mono, unplug the right. Just use one cable 
the left out, which is labeled mono, left slash mono, to a single input on your amplifier or audio in or whatever, just as though you're using a single guitar, or if it's a stereo keyboard amp or whatever, if you're just using the left and not a right, it will sense that and send the same signal to left and right speakers. So, hope this has helped you out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.